great hunter of Uru Nebu, to the extent of discussing him with Madoka. She could him. <laughs> what is this one talking about? Madoka is my friend. And we get to talk about Chukudimibo whenever we talk about his work. Biko, I am not interested in your Chukudimibo. Nekwa. Eh, hey, Uzoma. If you cook for Chukudimibo, who then cooks for Okudimibo? Okudimi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pico, who is Okudimi? <laughs> Listen, Chukudimi cannot go a day without my food. And I know that soon, <laughs> very soon, he will do the needful. <laughs> Dreamer. Ah, ah. Are you girls this dumb? Asked. I mean, ask me to marry him, of course. Dreamer. That's the needful he will do soon. Wait, 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 wait. Relax. Listen to me. Eh? I cannot wait for that day to come. You know, all the classless maidens that are hoping and waiting on Chukudimi. We'll pray for the girl to... Oh, my God! I love that. Yes! Oh, 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 Me to his house makes me wonder. <laughs> she has the nerves to do it. <laughs> well, I am not bothered. I just feel for the both of you. <laughs> I'm glad you came up with this plan. What I heard at the stream today got me very worried. Hey! Forget about this old man. I went to hear that this way. She could be. I'm not going to be in the house. She doesn't mean anything. I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? Just do what I'm doing. I'm just going to go now. You are sure about this? Are you saying it? I'm very sure. I've been working for Chukudimibo for more than a year now. I know it's scheduled like the back of my arm. But this is dangerous. How did you even come up with such a plan? Jesse, I am mad at that. The game changer it doesn't work like this. I appreciate this. So relax. Eh? Just do what I've said. And you get me that to me. You know what that means? Just do as I've told you, eh? You'll be smiling at the end. You are sure about this? Yes, of course. Hey! Uh, come, let me take you. Uchechi! Uchechi! How could she have done this man? She did not tell me. Oh! 
Lord, help me. Somebody help me. <laughs> How did you get yourself into this? I was just passing by you. I was just passing by. <laughs> passing by? This is a craft of living living. This must be chukud in the bone trap. No, 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 no. <laughs> Tell him he's trapped as a human being. No. <laughs> you want to stay here and wait for Chukudinibo? This is the craft of Yurunobo. And the longer he stays, the deeper the wood. Let me help him. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> Maduka, Maduka did not tell me this thing will go to. Hey, oh, Maduka. <laughs> Does it mean I will not get any supplies today? No, well, that is the reason I stopped over here first. I've already instructed my boys, they will supply you with that. Support. But please, keep the money for me until I return. That is not a problem at all. But I hope there's no problem. Well, whenever your king sends someone, you never know what he's going to do. But at least you will get to meet your people. It is indeed high time. Go in peace. And please extend my greetings to them. Yeah, come on. The strong man of Uru Nebo. No bushmeat today. No, he's not going to supply us like that. That's what he did to tell you. It's too good to be only one time this life. Something like that. You know, he is a hunter with touch of excellence. A man of the gods. Unlike many of the hunters in our land here that uh, they always spend the whole night in the bush and they don't see anything to bring back. The gods of this land will always lay animals out from ash for him to come them down. That's why he's the <laughs> My daughter, you are lucky. Just a trap. Not a poison trap. Like the one that used to say. <laughs> but ensure you do not move around with it. I shall return in another two days. Then, you see how it is. Okay, Peter, move us out of here. I shall be going. Hey, Mama, it's hot. Oh, hey. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hey. Hi. How did you even get yourself into this? Hmm? I went to the bush to get forage for the goats. <laughs> you went to the bush? That place where Chukudinibo catches wild animals. When did you start getting food for the goats? They almost did not work. Mama, I wanted to help. Have I done anything wrong? Mm -hmm. I wanted to help and make the boats happy by feeding them with grasses they've not eaten before. And this is what I get. Are you okay? Sorry, eh? Sorry. <laughs> Mama, the worst is that the man that set the stupid trap has not come here to tender an apology. Hey! Yeah, boy, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> that young man owes you more apology. It's the truth. <laughs> if you take this case to the elders, they will tell you the same thing. Hmm? <laughs> you know the same is true. <laughs> don't know what I'm doing. Father? <laughs> Why are you being defensive, Madoka? I'm not being defensive. What I said is the obvious. What happened to her could have happened to any other person? But it never happened to another person. Hmm? Who goes to that part of the forest where we know how many times Chukudinibo has been attacked by wild animals? I just, yeah. Not to talk of uh, a medicine for that matter. Hmm? One. 
<laughs> so what are you insinuating? What I'm insinuating is that we all know how desperate our maidens are to get to get to give most attention. <laughs> you can say about uh, other maidens, but not to teach it. It's different. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> what I said is the obvious. She's not like the other maidens that play their way to get your to give you the different. Different. <laughs> Why are they laughing as if they know something? You think they are mad? I'm still waiting for you to tell me why you consider it to be different. <laughs> tell me. So in I, so that is why I decided to come and see you myself in I. And you did well, my son. Thank you, man. And you have shown that you are a wise man. Thank you, man. Uzoma, you heard all that he said. Now tell me, what has he done to offend you? Papa, is that all you can say? What right does Opudili have to report me to you? He has no such right. He is a betrothed. He can come to me when things go wrong. Eh? I will say nothing while he is here. Opudili? No. I shall get back to you. No. Talk to her. Please talk some sense into her. You and Okudele are as good as married. Eh? You are supposed to be getting married to him. P Papa, what if I tell you I have someone else that is better? Don't be silly, young lady. Eh? He is a betrothed. What nonsense man that got into your head? Speak before I lose it with you. Chukudinibo. I'm seeing Chukudinibo. Eh? Chukudinibo. Yes, Papa. Disappointed. I'm highly disappointed. For what exactly? For Chukudinibo failing to come to me. Or for this painful wound on my leg. You want to remove this chest. It's not bad yet. Was that our plan? Was that our plan? Didn't you tell me that you would go to the bush yesterday morning? That you have his schedule in the palm of your hand? So I thought. But Chukudinibu is a man of few words. He hardly tells anyone about his plans. He didn't tell us that he was going to Unibu. Yeah? Sorry. I do not even know what I was thinking listening to that stupid plan of yours. Hey! No, 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 I'm sorry. No, no, I'm sorry. My plan is not actually stupid. It's just unfortunate that it turned out this way. But really, this will bring Chukudinibu closer to you. You know what that means. I guess it is bringing him already. I just see my leg in Boronia and I'm buying it. But really, this is the only bad thing about my wonderful plan. But, this will help. When he gets to hear about this, he will come to say sorry. And then he will use your female antics to finish the rest. You are sure about this. If you walk, see, to walk. I am very sorry that I came this late. I returned home late yesterday, so I couldn't come. Please, how exactly did this? I went to the bush to get forages for my boots. I didn't see your trap. 
I didn't know it was close by, so I, I stepped on it. <sighs> I'm very sorry. I apologize. In that case, I undertake to foot all the bills, please. Oh, Mba, don't worry, eh? You're already taking care of that. Then I will do you a refund. Please, let me do this. I beg of you. That is the only way that I can show that I'm sorry for what happened. Please, for what happened. <laughs> um, well, I, I, would, I would appreciate if you keep visiting until my wound heals. Please. Really? Well, I guess that will not be a problem. Thank you so much. Please accept this little cookie. Thank you. Thank you. That was all. By the gods, you will be healed soon. You see? I am sorry about this. I will try to visit you. Yes, mother. Why do I have this feeling that all this will blunder? That which the cock pursues even on that way. It's surely very important. Every other day. No, well, to be honest, that's the least I can do. I don't want the people of Osiris to have a reason to hate you. Of course, they won't. It is not your fault. Hey, hey, and Chubu uh, Dibu, how is that big bush bit of a baby that you can't come? How is she doing? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Don't go down with it. It's not a joke. It is not a joke for real. She's lucky to be alive. It cut is very deep. I mean, she stepped on Ozzy. She could have cut up her leg. What was she doing? What was she doing in the front? Let's go. Let's go around. Taking over your job in this place. She's my sister. Could you believe I nearly rejected her when she came here to apply to work for me? But somehow I, I said, let me be my sister. And she has proven to be the best that happened to my sister. Is she? Is she? I don't know why you're asking me for myself. What's up with you? But anyway, she's. Um, She's from Aki. Aki! And that's the only thing I know about her. You won't believe it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the meet. I swear by the gods of Allah, the best ever! No, I know. I don't accept it. You promised to talk to her for me. Huh? I tried all I could. But her mind is only the matter. Made up. But she's my betrothed. And you know it now. I suggest. You go and look for a new legend to marry. Also, my my daughter has made it clear that she will not marry you. So it's because of Chukudu. 
Oh, is that the reason? You even know about him? Yes, I do. She has been seen several times taking food to him. Ah! Oh, you already know. What else are you still fighting for? Eh? Can you compete with a man like Chukudu? I don't think so. My son, save your precious time and look for another medium. My daughter Uzoma has been taken. No, this is not fair. This is not fair. It's not fair. My daughter made the right choice. Yeah, you are right. You are right. Now that he has heard from me, I'm sure he will never disturb me again. If he does, mm -hmm. I will show him the other side of me. <laughs> <laughs> I will prepare something special. <laughs> no one. They know that he's a nice man. So they want to take advantage of that. Why are they doing that? Hey, what baffles me is that? They all ask as if they will die if he fails to notice them. Hmm, notice. Not in this understatement. True, this, this maybe is a desperate to have him marry them. You know I spend all my day at his house. So I know everything that is going on there. Obi, if you ask me, I guess he's enjoying all the attentions. Yes, if not, he will find a way to tell them off. You know what I'm about to do? He's a gentleman. He tries to tell them off, but they won't get it. Hmm? But tell me, does he, does he not have anyone in his life? I mean, who is he really interested in? I mean, does he not have anyone in his life? Because I know he's a hardworking man and he should have someone in his life. Don't forget about that. As far as I know, Chibuti Mugo has no one. Hey. Yes. Hey. Yes. Now you can vouch for him. Hey, 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 in that part of the flower. Now what sort of question is that? Sorry. Um, Zaram, I do not like such questions, please. Sorry. Please, please, please. Look. Look. <laughs> Greetings, beautiful ladies. Greetings, the best among all men. Please, come and see it. Um, Uzopota, don't you think as the host I should be the one to offer him a seat? Oh, go on, Uchi. Remember that you are incapacitated at the moment. Huh? <laughs> Allow me to do this. Oh, good morning, my dear, please. Oh, I'll see it. Let me still let me get to your seat. Sorry. 
Thank you very much. How do you feel today? I feel better today. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Here, I brought this for you. I have to be on my way now. Okay. Mguano. Hi. Okay. Me too. Okay. Hey, I'm going to the stream, man. Eh? Oh, okay. I want to go and fetch water. Don't worry, I'll come back, eh? Okay, merci. That you change is very cool. It's my dear. This one beats me. When I looked at her, I knew she was up to something. Exactly. I feel that Uchichi is using this one as a to get closer to Chukudi. He practically visits her every other day. Uchichi is just like a rat. By the time I make out time for her, she will run away from this office. Yeah. Yes. What more could be more important to me? That's your stupid attitude. What was that for you? Eh? 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 Greatest is the best among all men in us. Look at this one. Look at this one. What is your problem? No, I can't get you. What is your problem? What is wrong with what I told you? Asking you to see that. What is the problem? Or still say that he's the best among all men. My dear, you are simply jealous. Yes, you are jealous because I am older. I'm smarter. And you put the that too. And so you're jealous. Me? Jealous? <laughs> when I was the one that got him a seat. Oh, wait. What could be happening between her and Chukujini at the moment? Why did I even leave? Should I go back? <laughs> Yamaka! So this is true. Mm -hmm. You're back already. Oh my greeting. Hold oh, that your useless greetings to yourself. Or the way. So this is what you have turned my daughter into. Abu who possesses it. Mama. Mama, what's the problem? Why, why, why are you talking to him like this? Or the way and I wait, 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 we're just discussing and I'm not on more. They take your Amaka. So you have decided to turn yourself into a maiden that stands under a tree, discussing useless things with useless men. Do you know how many people that told me that they saw my daughter under a tree, discussing with this useless son of no body? Mama, shut up! Amaka, I don't want you to say what. Before I close my eyes and open them, let me do that. Run to the house. Put my mind. Okay. Please. Yeah. Okay. Ah. 
Get out. And you, or the way, or whatever you call yourself. I don't want to have this discussion with you again. Stay away from my daughter. I'm warning you for the last time. Mama, just called me a son of nobody. I you know that is not fair. Look at who is talking of fairness. What you are doing to my daughter is it fair? And I'm not joking. But then, ma. Mama. Mama. I'm sorry. Ma. I love your daughter so much. I love her. Okay. I promise you, I'll go and gather money and I'll come and pay her by price. Hey! I'm to fear what? May the God for me. If it is a God, I reject it. You marry my only daughter. All the way. I am warning you for the last time. All the way. Stay away from my daughter. If you see, and I get you close to my daughter again, you win this. This is your concept. You go. You're not happy and I want to marry your daughter. I wanted to ignore you, but I've seen that I cannot. Let me tell you, the people that carve mortars in this village are just you. And they change a lot of money to carve one. I'm only, don't destroy my choice mortar. Nobody's talking about Amaka and how she feels. This, this useless mortar has become the choice now. Adam Hobbs is there. I am your mother. Talk to me. Woman, what troubles you? Mama, don't act as if you don't know already. You know, the way you spoke to Odukwe today. It's very, very bad. Very, very bad. You know Odukwe is a nice man. And he meant well for me. Why calling him names? <laughs> hey! So, this is all about Odukwe, eh? It's not as if I hate that way. I don't hate him. But I hate the fact that he is blocking you from getting a worthy suitor. Mama, what is suitor you say? My daughter, it's not as if I hate Odukwe. But going closer to Odukwe will prevent worthy suitors. Right suitors, my daughter. Coming to ask for your hand in marriage. So, I think we need to understand ourselves this night too. Because me, I don't know what you mean by worthy or the right suitor. As far as I'm concerned, Odukwe is as good as my husband. And very, very soon, he will be coming with his people to see you and Papa. Ask for my hand in marriage. Shut up. You're talking about nonsense. Mommy, I've said my own no. <laughs> Amaka, I never wanted to push this so hard. But I've seen that you want me to do that. There is something I will tell you in this night that you have to sleep over. Then first of all, let us finish cooking. Because when you see your father will come asking for his night food. I said my own. No? <laughs> what do you know about that? Will you stop doing that? Something must be wrong somewhere. Odoguna Gogo told me that Chukutinbo only needs to eat my food five times. And then he will fall head over heels in love with me. Yes, that is what he told me. I have even lost count of the number of times that I have taken my food to him. Yet, nothing has changed. Is there something that I'm not doing well? What is happening? 
Shoko Dinimo, why are you not loving me yet? treating me like this. What have I done to deserve this? Wait, Wamadi. What did I hear you say? That we can't be over. What nonsense link of salt and oil are you bringing to us? Please tell me, who are the we? We now, you and I. Wamadi, I'm lobby. And you, the god of all. Hold it! Just hold it there. Come Wamadi. Have you been visiting Wombos Valley? I don't even drink my wine. I only go there to eat bush meat. Then there. something worse is wrong with you. Yeah. Me? Why would you ever think there is us? Or there is ever going to be us? As in, you and, you and I. But I know What's I love nothing! Wamadi, I am not your type. Please go look for all those small, small girls that have been chilled by a poor man's skin. With cheap feet or anklets. Shekube is made for the mighty men that are blessed by the gods. Shekube, that is me. Wow, Madame Oluna, you owe me. I am blessed by the gods. Now, let me make it clearer to you. I am seeing Shekube Nikko, the wealthy man. You know how powerful he is. And you must not be seen as acting this woman for your own good. See, eh? Wait, wait. What has that man done to our maiden that? When he never had to the and he said he can eat it. I said, not for you, I'll take you. Your workers are not here today. They've already closed for the day. You don't know how happy I am to be here with just you. Those men know how to make one feel uncomfortable. You have absolutely no reason to be uncomfortable when my men are around. I know. Just that I'm enjoying this private time with you. Greetings, Chiku Jinibu. It is enough. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Mobo sent me to collect the meat he ordered for. Oh yes, that's that's true. Let me get it. Be back. He will hear. Thank you. You should be preparing to leave. You have somewhere to go to. Exactly what I am talking about. 
Odupe is a servant. Why settle for the servant where you can go for the master? You know Odupe does not deserve all this treatment. He doesn't deserve it. And you? Do you deserve to be married to that useless man that called himself Odupe? Let me tell you, Odupe is lazy. In fact, he is stupid. Who knows what will have become of him if not that people in Ibo employed him? Oh. Oh. Yes. See, my dear. I count myself as very lucky to have married your father. Not minding that. I was able to give him just one child, just you, no male son, no other female child added to you. He still maintains her marriage. He refused to get married to another woman. Because of all this, your father needs to be made proud by the only child that he has been living for. You know I love you so much. And I will do anything to to make this a good man. Mm -hmm. My daughter, now do it. Make your father happy. Make us proud of you. is to make my father know that having a female child is not a curse. But how do I go about what my mother said? All is well. You mean all is well and you were practically lost when I came here. Chikube, I'm fine. Do you know I practically screamed your name before you noticed I'm here? What were you thinking? I wasn't thinking about anything. It's just that I was lost in thoughts. But trust me, Chikube, she do not want to know what I was thinking about. Let's forget about that. I'm fine, okay? I'm not fine now. What is it? It all started with that useless one, Madi. Fooling me about. <laughs> Wait. Chekube. You now call one Madi useless? When it's, did this happen? It's even worse than that. Do you know all the bad luck I faced today at Chikudinobu's house was because of him? Wait a minute. You mean you now go to Chukudinebo's house? Again? Did I tell you I was ever going to stop going to his house? But you... Ah, wait. So you openly go to see Chukudinebo? That's not the issue, Amaka. Do you know I almost got him today? But that useless girl that works at that bar came in and interrupted us. Hmm. You did? I'm surprised you did. I never had any reason to look at that girl. But I hate her now. Where is she even from? See, listen. It would do you good if you brief me on what happened. Why do you hate the poor girl so much? Why? Don't worry. I will just go to my house and think of what to do. Please greet me for me. Hmm? Thank you. 
I'm not happy the way you're staring at me. You're not just a native doctor. You're also a seer. And you came highly recommended. Why are you looking at me as if you don't know why I'm here? You're worried because the charm I gave to you did not work. <sighs> Thanks of God that you know. You praise your charms to high heavens. Why is it not working? Why? <laughs> are you sure that you did exactly as I told you? I did everything exactly the way you instructed. A small quantity of the portion in each meal that he eats. That's exactly what I've been doing. Hmm. that look. Why does he eat my food and yet nothing is happening? <laughs> Dragging the cow to the river is not the same as making the cow to drink from the river. What does that mean? You took the food of which you dropped my powerful charm to him. How are you sure that he ate from the food? How are you sure? Find out. I do not want to be damaged. You know from the deepest parts of your heart that I'm being violent. I've heard you say this before. You have explain to me now. What do you mean by that? Nothing really, it's, it's just that I had to. Uh, 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 I what? Do you know what? Please, I need to be left to go. Please, and now. Why are you 
It's an already healed wound. I said I need to be left alone. Is that difficult for you to understand? Please. So then, all of you will not be there tomorrow? No. We are resuming there after tomorrow. He, he, he told us to go and rest. Really? Yes. Hmm. Chukudinibo is such a good man. I mean, who else will be this considerate? He asked us to take a day off. Not only to go and rest, but to spend time with our loved ones. So, tomorrow will be for you and I. Um, me? Yes. Um, see you then. I was just going to say it's a bad time. Yes, um, my mother said I'll be going to see my grandma with her tomorrow. No, I have made plans to take it to Guchelek. You know I've been promising you that. I know you have, Oben. I know. But like I said, it's a bad time. See, let's reschedule this. You know how tough my mother can be. And if I don't go with her, she will skin me alive. Why? Why must it be now? Why must it be now? I, I was imagining how our tomorrow will be. Oben, you worry a lot. Hmm? You worry a lot. Okay, see. As soon as I come back, I'll come to your place first. And we'll spend all the time we need together. I promise. I promise. Cheer up. I'm not going there to be forever. I'm just going to visit. <laughs> Cheer up now. I'm not spoiling it. Cheer up. <laughs> You're the only reasonable man that works for Chukudin. So I have no one else to ask. I don't understand why you wish to know if Chukudin eats your food or not. It will cost you nothing if you tell me. He does not eat it, right? What does this witch want to hear? If I tell her that Chukudinibu does not eat her food, then she might stop bringing it. Tell her what she wants to hear and let the food keep going. Anna Quincy, what are you thinking? I don't know why you ask, but the truth is that Chukujinibo likes eating your food. In fact, he always looks forward to it. He looks forward to eating my food. That means he's beginning to love me. But how come he does not show it in his actions? Y'all must be a witch. Huh? Look, look at how she just smiled at me and walked off without saying anything. Hey, are we even safe eating her food? Huh? So far, so good. No one has died yet. So, let the eating continue. On what you do, young one. You do not know that, Gary. You're such a caring and nice man. I'm only giving to my word. I promise to continue to care for you and take care of you until your wound is completely healed. Thank you. Thank you so much. Anyway, I um, have to get going. My workers are off duty today, so I have a lot to do. I'm not strong enough, but I've come to help. I'll see you either tomorrow or the day after. Take care.
we keep getting closer every day. Soon, all he will be doing is think about me. I am getting there gradually. The maidens will know that I am the wisest and smartest. Is everything okay? About what? Things of the eye on a man of who makes his living from the wild. Countless times I have come face to face with deadly beasts who were supposed to kill me, but I came out alive. Why? Because my hands are So on that note, I can tell you that you can so trust me. Do not be silly. Me, of course. See, Amaka, you're my good friend, but that does not give you the right to control my life. Listen, Chikube. Do not misunderstand me. I am not trying to control your life. That is what you're doing. I want him the same way you wanted to go. Why are you keen on discouraging me? I am not discouraging you. I only want you to conduct yourself like a lady. You should not be chasing after Chukwu Dinobo like that. I am not chasing after him. I only went to help him do his chores. Why? Because you love him, right? <laughs> you should grow up. Chikube, you should grow up. No man will love you for making yourself available and check. You should stop this now. I mean now. Thank you, ma. But sorry, I will not stop. I will continue doing what I have to do till I get him. I don't normally do this, but I will eat your food only because you have prepared it before me. Hmm. Something tells me you've not been eating things that have the craft of women of the city. But I came to show you that I'm different from others. My grandmom taught me everything, and my mother continued from where she starts. There is absolutely no need for all this lecture. The aroma of your food is very inviting. I have already accepted that I will eat it. There is a pot buried at the back of the house. Get me water from there so that I may wash my hands. Okay. Thank you. Ah, I I greet you. How are you? Fine, sir. Uh, what are you doing here? I thought I told you to take the day off. Uh, you see, uh, um, my plans to spend time with my woman did not work out. Please, sit. Okay, sir. <laughs> I see. Yeah. I see, this food is delicious. Ah, yeah. it looks, it looks it. Don't worry, we'll eat now. Uh, <laughs> get some water to wash. Amaka! Amaka, what are you doing here? Oh, Amaka came around to help me do some chores and also she, she made this, she made this too. She did. Let's, let's eat, wash your hands, let's eat. Amaka, please, water. Amaka. Amaka, is this your grandmother's place you told me you'd be going to? Sorry, do you, do you two know each other? Um, no, I, I, yes, 
You know what the way? Yes. You took the food of which you dropped my powerful charm to him. How are you sure that he ate from the food? How are you sure? Find that how. Despite all the money I spent on him, I still did not get him. There must be something else I must do. Who are you discussing with? No one, Papa. Nobody. I must go to bed. Made it daybreak. I don't understand. Why would he want to sleep? I don't have any idea, but he was here yesterday to apologize for how we spent the bread. But you weren't here. Why would he do that? Was he not the one that gave the orders for his men to do so? No, Mrs. Enna, the order he gave was not for us. He gave the order actually for the, some, some of the people in this kingdom that will not pay for what they owe. His men misunderstood everything. Oh, well, he already met you. That's enough apology. Oh, what does he want? Does he want to speak with me directly? Maybe. It doesn't make sense to me. You are the boss. And he has apologized. From the way you sound, it sounds as if you accepted the apology. So this Well, actually, and I am not going to force you into anything. If you have decided not to go, no problem. So how are your people? They're fine. They sense their good. You're welcome, my dear. Thank you. Um, I see there's a lot for me to do. I need to get to work. Okay. Useless girl that cannot listen to what her mother is telling her. Mama, leave me alone. No. I will not leave you alone. I am your mother. I will not sit and watch you waste away. Mama, what you're pushing me to do is what we waste. How can I be chasing after him who does not even know that I exist? All because he's a promising son in me. And what will you be doing? Hanging around? One useless fool, one good for nothing boy, that cannot even take care of you. Talk more of coming to take care of your parents. Mama, all I see in this case is that you're being selfish. You only think about yourself. You don't think about the next person. You only think about yourself. My child, I am thinking about you, my child. You deserve a good man. A man that can take care of him. Look at how beautiful you are. From me to toe. This man we are talking about is good for nothing. He cannot take good care of him. I even heard that he has lost the job that he took. 
Yes, he has. He has lost it. Thanks to you, Mama. He lost that job because he saw me with you, Amaka. Amaka. Last time. If I see you near that stupid man, I will crush you. Oh, who does you? Mama, let me tell you. Mama, see, let me tell you. You will not stand on my way. You will not stand on my way. I know you're not this girl. You will not stand on my way. You will not stand on my way. You won't. Who is talking? Crayfish. Era, I will not stand on your way. I will stand on your way. Let me tell you, Amaka. If I see you near that fool again, I will produce you. I will tell you that I am your mother. Try me. Yes, what have you come here to do? So good time. My only friend, you know, Silly. My only friend. Who is your only friend? Please don't patronize me, please. But that is true. You are my only true friend. What have I done wrong? Did you come here to question me? So, Chita, what have I done wrong? Or is it because of Chuku Dinibo? Chuku Dinibo? <laughs> do I have to fight you because of him? You and I know who the loser will eventually be. <laughs> anyway, one after the other, all my competitors will be going down. Just like your fake friend Uchechi. Has she gone down? How do you mean? What happened to her? You mean you don't know? You mean you don't know that Uchechi supposedly tapped herself just to get Chuku Dinibo's attention? Oh, it's a lie. Uchechi doesn't want Chuku Dinibo. She could not have done that. Anyway, when you're done arguing and you want to hear me, how will you tell? Please, I'd like to have a word with you. Now? I need to get this to Nubu as soon as possible. I'm aware of that. But I promise I won't take much of your time. the meaning of this. Are you okay? <laughs> My dear, there are a lot of families that cannot boast of a day's meal, yet you waste food on a man. Not just a man, no. A man that will not even have her time at all. Now tell me. Is that not foolishness? <clears throat> what some worthless maidens do to get a man's attention? Food cannot get him. You should have come anyway, even if you felt that there was no need. 
I don't have to come all the way for you to apologize. You already did that, and I think that's what matters. He's the boss or not me. I did not call you here for apologies. It is a, as you know, I am a man of very few words. I do not speak very much. What I'm about to tell you, I have given great thought to. And I want you to take it very, very serious. Serious? I like you. I want to court you. And I want to marry you. You didn't just say that, did you? I've been observing you since you started working for mobile. You are different. You have all the qualities I want in a woman. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on. What is wrong? Why, why do you cry? You are the reason why I cried to kill you. Why have you decided to punish me like this? What have I not done to show that I love and care for you? What? You love me since, since when? Since I started showing you I care for you. I cooked and brought to you, right? Did you even eat my food? Did you eat oh, my food? Calm down. Calm down, Usama. Please. <laughs> just calm down. What exactly is this about? Is it about the food? Or the fact that you love me? Help! Triple D will be cool. Please, just show me some love. Show me some love. Even if you swore, I will manage it. Because my fellow maidens, they laugh at me. They laugh at me because no matter how much I love you, you refuse to love me bad. Just show me small love. Eh? No, 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 stop it. Just small love. Behave yourself. Just small love. Behave yourself. Just love me. Please. Just love me. Just love me. Just love me. Just love me. Stop it. What can a man do now? I'm just managing my life. Um, have you thought of going back to Chukudini? Wangene, after he heard about the plan to kill him, I don't think he will ever want to see me in his, in his house again. No, no, listen. I don't think he's that kind of person. Just go back to him, apologize to him, then let's see what happens next. Huh? Anyway, that is part of why I called you. Um, just give me one minute. I'll be right back. What? Wangene, is this why you call me to your house? Eh, Wangene? So because of her? Okay. I'm truly sorry. I hurt you so much. I was, I was so foolish. Okay, please. I beg of you. Forgive me. I love you so much. You are all I want. You are my life. Amaka, you are a disgrace. <laughs> and I will never have anything to do with you again. Go ahead. Go ahead and get yourself a wedding man that will make your mother proud. No, no. no. Oh, please. She's just a woman. Just forgive her, please. Her mother called me a son of nobody. I love you, honey, baby. Please, I love you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just forgive her. I love you so much. I'm sorry. Why did you leave like that? We were in the middle of an important discussion. I had to let you settle with your woman. My woman? Who told you she's my woman? It was obvious. She loves you. Okay. Um, listen up, Eche. She is not my woman. Okay? I do not have any woman. You are the one I want to make my woman. 
Believe me. Why me? Chuku Dinibo, you command respect. You're a noble man. You command respect from the Lord, the High and the Mighty in this village. You deserve a noble maiden. Someone of equal status as yours and not me. I'm just a stranger in this land. I've just come to make money to sustain my family. I am nothing. Stop it. Just I... stop it. Please. Stop. You're much bigger than you think of yourself. I am also a stranger here. Yes, I'm a visitor, so that makes the both of us. I want you. Don't turn me down. Please. I respect you a lot. And I beg you to respect my decision. I cannot be with you. choose any one of them and forget about that uh, HS on True Nisi. She's not even worthy of your love. She's one worthless maiden that serves my wine at the bar. I mean, you see, I am sure you're not even aware. That maiden HS on she sleeps around with different men. Wow. For money. It's more money. This stuff is everywhere now. Haven't two head? <laughs> but wine has a way of triggering the sex or the men. Once they drink themselves to stupor, they calm down their bodies with that classless, useless etches on it. <laughs> Anna Quincy, did somebody lay a curse on your tongue? What kind of stupid question is that? I see no other reason why you say such a thing in the presence of Onisi about the maiden that you know that he loves. If not that someone plays a curse on your tongue. Yugumo is everywhere. Yugumo is everywhere. Omuko, I am even planning to use my extra cash to go to her. <laughs> you will give me something now. <laughs> okay, Zaya. Okay, get him Omuko Faka. Hey, if you continue like this, I assure you, you lose this your job. And she refused to accept my proposal. It's not the issue here. There is something else that bothers me greatly. Talk to me, I'm listening. Oh, well, before I made my intentions known to HSM, I came to you as a man to another man and I asked you about her and you confirmed to me that she has no spots. That is the truth. She has no spots. Why did you not tell me that she is a woman? I beg your pardon? How could you say a thing like that? I mean, how could you? People think that she sleeps with the men that patronize you. Me Amadio has striked those that say that me Amadio has striked them. This is my problem in this land. How could people wake up and decide to spoil the names of other people? How? There is something I never told anyone in this land. But I'm going to tell you. Because I hold you as a man of middle class. Just come with me.
every other night, that lady sleeps in there. If you want to make that lady your wife, like you do, I encourage you to go ahead. Do not consider all the malicious words people are telling you about her. They are false. The only problem that lady has And I look you in the face, Shuku the Nibu, the great man of Uru Nebo, and I want to ask you, is poverty now in sin? Madoka, please give me this news, please. 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 What have I gotten myself into? Did I tell you that this is over? It's still new, Chichu. No, it's you. We are still friends. But as far as the matter concerns to Kudini, I'm sorry I cannot help you. Madika, all you've done so far is as good as nothing. Even the suggestion you came up with backfired. I did not only go through pains, I was humiliated. Now that you believe that my suggestions are not favorable, why are you still disturbing me, Chichi? Leave me alone. I'm sorry if my choice of words offended you. But please, I still need your help. Please. I need someone close to Chukudini, but in order to get him. Chichi, listen to me and listen very carefully. Because I'm going to say this only once. Before, Chukudini has no need. But as we speak now, he has a special meaning in his life. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. In fact, he's ready to do anything to be with this maiden. Now that you know, please leave him alone. Mm -hmm. Let me be. Um, 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 Madoka. What's it again? Tell me who this maiden is. Her name is a chaser. She's a sales girl at Mobo's bar. Now you know. Please leave him alone and don't bring me into this matter again. Thank you. A chaser. That thing. That sleeve. What is he doing with his sleeve? Please, I beg of you, please send me on another errand, please. Why? Have you not been the one going to buy me bush meat from Chukwe the neighbor's place? Or has he hand been anywhere? No, he hasn't done anything wrong. So why asking me to send you on another errand? I don't understand what is going on here. Is there something you're not telling me? What's happening? He wants me to marry him. You're not serious, are you? Shuku Dinibu, the wealthiest young man in our city kingdom, the most noble of them all, is asking you to be his wife. That's good news. How does that affect your going there to buy me bush? Why should I be the one you would choose? The news of how all the maidens of Osili kill themselves over him is everywhere. Why should it be me? And how is that your fault? Why would you blame yourself that he shows you over them? I don't want trouble. I am only but a stranger in this land. I don't want any trouble at all. Why, why does it have to be me? Hey, Jesus, now let me ask you a very simple question and I want you to give me a very simple answer. What if it is your destiny to be his wife? 
No. Will you be able to stop it because you don't want trouble? I don't see how that is my destiny. Don't be a child, please. Don't be a child. And let me remind you that very soon people will gather here to eat the bush meat. I don't want to lack the bush meat I will sell at Sunset. Please. <laughs> Anybody here? I'm a boy your neighbor. What are you doing here? What else would I be doing here if not to come and buy bush meat? No boss sent me. Oh. But we do not supply in the evening. The world we should know that. He would not have sent me if he knew. Maybe I should go and let him know. He knows. Yet he sent me to come here and embarrass myself. That is enough. Wait. Come, let us see how we can help Hobo. Excuse me. Take that to him. I thought you said you don't have any. What you see in there was kept for another customer. Then I think you should keep it for the customer. No boy would understand. It's just that the evening is still young and we already ran out. I gave that to you myself, didn't I? You didn't force me to. Take it. Take it to Mo Bo. Thank you. Thanks, Mo. I not only felt it, I could see it in his eyes. He's truly in love with me. And I love him too, a lot. At least I think I do. But what can I do? He's a man of noble character. Sorry, sorry. I wasn't looking. Oh yes, you weren't looking. I said I'm sorry. She's the one. Hey! Me? Did you stop me just to do that? Are you... Are you Momo's barmaid? What? Barmaid? I work for Momo. What do you want? You are the one that Chukudinibu has lost his senses to, right? I am talking to you. I asked a question. Are you the one that Chukudinibu, my man, has lost his senses to? 
Oh yes, I know him. As a matter of fact, I am just coming from his house. So if you claim he is your man, I think you should ask him that question. My name is Echizona. So you go and ask him if I am the one he has lost his so-called senses to. said she's one timid local girl. Imagine her boldness. actually gave me the one he said he reserved for someone else. Really? That's unlike Shoko Tinubo. He never does that. Well, that's what he told me because I was already on my way out when he called me back and gave it to me. You see what I've been trying to make you understand? Shoko Tinubo has never gone this extra mile for me. I believe he did because of you. What's wrong? What with the face? Did you go into a fight with him or what? Over what? I already told him I'm not interested in him, so why should we fight? Prepare the meat. I'm the first about it. The customers are already asking for the meat. Actually, hey, I have been looking at you since you came back from the school people's house. And I can swear that something is wrong. How can you say you can swear? As if you know me like the back of your palms. Of course I do. You're like my younger sister. And ever since you came to live with me here, I have studied you very well. I know when you're troubled. Just that most of the times I, I decide not to interfere. Shuko Dinibo is a friend of mine that I know in this land very, very well. And if he has started to give you trouble lately, open up to me and I will fall out with you immediately. It's not about him. He hasn't done anything wrong to me. So what's the problem? Is Chuku going to be normalizer? Is he really into women? Where is that coming from? A maiden stopped me on my way home. She almost had a fight with me. She said I'm the one at making her man lose his senses over her. <laughs> Why are you laughing? It is not funny. I was embarrassed. It was as if I had slapped another woman's husband. Do you know why I am laughing? 
because it is actually very fun. Listen to yourself. The Megi in question said, You are the one. A man lost his senses. That's very funny. I don't know. What does that mean? I don't even understand what she meant by that. You, you don't need to bother yourself understanding what that means because it means absolutely nothing. I don't know this maid that stopped you along the road and I don't want to know. But there is something I know. Fuku Dimbo is a man I know so well in this life. And he's a man of noble quality. As we speak, there is no single woman in this life, not to talk of me, but I is. So my dear, if you have started to feel anything for me, as you now want to give me a chance, please, go ahead. No, 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 it's not that. It's not that at all. It's just that I was really mad. She, she was just going on and on. I was wondering why a man with such a beautiful maiden would want to go after another one. Because the Shuku Dinibo we are talking about is the dream of almost all the maidens in this land. So it is understandable that we have all gone around fighting over him with all other maidens. That shouldn't give anything matter. Shouldn't bother you. Uchechi, nothing will change the fact that you are a pathological liar and a deadly deceiver too. Well, you can call me anything you like, but that will not change the fact that both of you hate yourselves. You can kill yourselves over a man that will never accept you. You know what? You are a big fool. Get out of this and try do something drastic. Wait, what was she even thinking of when she was coming here? I would have beaten her with hot water if she had come to my house. Which you leave now? Get out! I will leave. Yes. Calm down. I will leave. But not without delivering my message. What nonsense message? You know Chuku Dinibo. The very man we all have been killing ourselves to have. Oh, we now? Yes, we. He now has a woman in his life. Um, Zara. Have you done it already? I mean, you went behind me to see Chuko Denibo? Me? I have not set my eyes on you for a long time. But well, I'm certain that it is Ozoma. Maybe she has finally charmed Chuku Dinibo with her food. Oh, just shut up! Just shut up, fools. Just, just shut it. If you do not know what to say, shut up! Chuku Dinibo has his eyes on Echezona. The meeting that works at Mobo's Bush Bar. Well, I expected that look on your faces. I'll be on my way now. I only thought I should let you know there is a new enemy. I advise you should check her out. I only came here to buy meat, nothing more. And trust me, if I had my way, I would not be here. Why? Chesana, why? Is it a crime to love? Is it? I love you. And I want you. I'm not deceiving you. I know. I didn't say you're deceiving me. I just don't want trouble. I cherish the job I do and the little I earn from it. And I don't want that ruined. Ruined? 
So marry me will ruin it for you. What? Why would you say such a thing? I know what I'm saying and I expect you to understand too. I do not understand. Please make me understand. I have never loved before because I've been very scared of getting involved with any woman. Until you came into my life. All that changed when you came into my life. This is not happening. Chibu the Nibu. Chibu the why? Why? Why are you doing this? What? What are you doing to yourself? Why do you want to drag your good name to the mud? <laughs> is, is this what you chose over me? This bad maiden? This is exactly what I was talking about. Okay, okay, please come. Go. Let her go, please. I believe she understands that she does not understand that she does not deserve you. Please let her go. Please, please. Oh, please. Look at me. Take me to your people. Take me your wife. And you will forever know joy. I promise you. Now listen. I want you to leave this compound this moment and never ever return. Do you hear me? I do not want to see you here when I come back. Did I make a mistake by coming here to work? Why would such a noble man want to make me his wife? Because he loves you. Why me? You have all it takes to be a wife to any good and responsible man. How can you say that? With my past? No noble man will want to be with me when he hears about my past. Love conquers everything. He truly loves you and will accept your past no matter how dark it is. No. No, I am not ready for this. I can't let him or anyone in this place know about my past. I can't. I am sure that he will get tired of me one day and give up. Yes. I shall continue to say no to him. I must not give in to his pressures. I do not know you. This is the very first time I'm setting my eyes on you. Who are you and what are you doing in my company? Must you know me to process and reconcile the things I said? The things you said? What have you said? That we have something in common? That our lives are similar? That we are one, ultimately? What does that even mean? You smile. Why do you smile? Listen. I have a feeling that you are a spirit. Probably an evil spirit. Introduce yourself properly and state your mission clearly. Or I will have no other choice than to treat you as an enemy. 
就是。So I came outside. Are you okay? Yes. I searched the bathroom I had. It made me uncomfortable. You mean you were still up at this time? Standing here because of a late dream, not even a nightmare. What dream is that? The dream I... Um, the... Never mind. Don't worry about it. Yes, yes, sir. You came to work with you, so you don't want to be able to do it. So what do you call my life? Right here. does not serve me this way. No, 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 please. Don't go anywhere, please. Sit down. Just sit down. Elsa Sana! Elsa Sana! Please come and take care of your special customer. Get me the drink. 
All I want is to watch my beautiful etches and ash. You are the blood that keeps me alive. I can't get enough of you. Give me the drink. I just want to observe you. Come on, turn around. Don't do that. You will fall. Stop it. Turn. <laughs> She's just the very best. Hey, Mude. You know, in as much as I, I want to sell a lot of bottles of my wine, but I must have to remind you that you have a small bottle. So you have to be careful how you drink my wine. You <laughs> have wrong homers. We can. Mabu, Odobu ne pempe, Mude, what? Odobu ne pempe. Yes, you can. Press buttons. Enjoy yourself. Shoko di nebo. The great man of Oro nebo. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, the greatest palm wine tapa in our land. I greet you. You are welcome. Thank you very much. I feel excited seeing people like you coming to my bar. Because it gives me this impression that I'm going to sell a lot today. I don't know if to take that as a compliment. Of course. <laughs> like, how many bottles do you use that? Two will not make me lose my head now. No, no. Sit down. Hey, Shazana! Hey, Shazana! Eshezona! She seems to be doing everything possible to avoid me. But I have consistently asked her to stop. What's going on? Don't worry about it. You can serve me today. I will manage. I will have you. Thank you. I will not 
بالضبط كيف هو بيكوز اي لاف يو اي دريم اوف يو افري اوفر نايت اند اي هوب ذات سم داي يو ويل فايند ا بليس ان يور هارت فور مي اوس اي دريم ذات سم داي اي ويل هاف يو باي ماي سايد Everything what I have just. Ude, Is it please, please forgive us. I need you to forgive me, please. Ah, uh, because I'm old. Let me see. Please, please. Oh, Duke, what do you want me to do? Now? Forgiveness. Let me see, please, please forgive us. I'm very, very sorry. Forgive you for what exactly? For accusing me of stealing your woman, or for plotting to take my life? I love that. Because I'm, uh, I'm just. Please. Uh, because please forgive us, please. please. Do not punish him for this. I take the blame. Yes. It was all my fault. Please. All I beg for is your forgiveness, Chukwu please. 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 I do not have any right not to forgive you. Thank you. But the truth is that I cannot do that which you ask of me. Hi. Hi. Anisi, please, I beg of you. Please forgive me. Please, I'm sorry. Suffered. <laughs> Odukwe, I cannot take you back to work for me. Hey. That is not possible. Hey. I have forgiven you, yes, but my spirit will not let me take you back. Why? Hey. Please. I'll be back with you shortly. Please, I need the job. Get up. Huh? Please, huh? I need the job. Please. Get up. Hmm? Please. Thank you. Dan, yes. thank you. I have forgiven you. Yes. Thank you. And um, I know that you need this job. It's a great deal. Yes. Especially now that you are getting married. And it pains me greatly that I cannot give it to you. Huh? Here. Take this. Start a business. Sustain yourself. Sustain your new family. This is the most I can do. I hope it is good enough. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just about to bring it. I'm almost done.
Welcome. Have you finished the washing? Yes. Please sit down. What is going on with you? I asked the question or didn't you hear me? I heard you. There's nothing going on with me. That is if I understand your question. It appears as if you are losing your mind. Even when you walk. Like today, which is still very fresh. You were so lost when you were filling the bottles. You were practically wasting my wine. And this is something that you have been doing lately on a regular basis. I've been monitoring you, thinking it is something that will pass with time, but it has become very consistent. And I call you to ask, what is eating you up? Actually, I have told you time and time again that you are like a yoga sister to me. And I want you to see me as your elder brother. Forget the fact that you work here for me. I want us to relate like members of the same family. What is the problem with you? I'm really sorry about what happened earlier today. I was just lost in thought. What thought? The people at home, are they alright or did you receive any bad news from your place? No, 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 no. everyone is doing well. Everyone is fine. Is it about him then? Him. Who? You love him, right? Chukwu Dinibu. You love him. So all these upset mindedness is because of Chukwu Dinibu. Is he not? It is like, why are you punishing yourself? Why are you not willing to give this young man a chance in your life even when it is clear to me that you love him? What have you not done to push him off? And he has remained very consistent coming. What's your problem? Or are you keeping yourself for any other man? No, I've not been with any other man since I turned 15. Then why are you not giving him a chance? Chukwu Dinibu is good for you. If he's not good for you, I wouldn't have allowed him to come near you in the first place to make that proposal. And I, I, I allowed him because I know he means well. Why are you punishing yourself? Why are you subjecting yourself to this kind of trauma? I called you here this night to talk to you as a brother and I want you to critically think what I have just said this night. Give it a thought because he means well. I will leave you now but I want you to think about what I just said. I'll see you tomorrow. Carry is that bad. Just give him two days. Yeah. Not even come back. Maybe Why tomorrow. Not come back? Tomorrow. Okay, I have. I'm just good. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> bye bye, bye. I totally forgot. 
My friend, 14, 14. 15. 15, okay. 15. He's doing everything to avoid him. But you told me he said he's been very busy. I don't think so. He's always been a very busy person. Always at time. But it is possible something came up that kept him very busy. Be patient with him. I was at his house today. Can you believe he was inside the house, but he told his men to tell me he's not around. Are you serious? He did? I knew he was going to come to this, but I didn't expect him to handle it like this. What? Do you have any idea why he's avoiding me? I've always known I'm not good for him. That was why I helped him. I was just trying to be honest. I opened up. Because he told me I was going to see my people. I didn't want him to hear it from someone else. I have this feeling that there is something you are not telling me. Can you speak it? Oh boy, you never visit me this late. I hope all is well. Shukudinibu, I came to find out what is happening between you and Daisha Zola. You confided in me that you love her so much and that you wanted to make her your wife. I, I want to find out. Have you suddenly changed your mind? Oh, boy, my friend. It is not like that. It is not. She told me that you practically avoid her these days. I wouldn't have believed. But then again, I have witnessed it myself. It is very glaring to me that you are avoiding her. And I want to find out. Uh, what is going on? I, I really wish that this was not happening. I wish. And the worst part is that there's, there's nothing I can do about it. She wouldn't but what did she do? I cannot tell you that which bothers my heart. You see, men who are men do not judge people based on their past actions. Echezona has lived with me for a very long time now and I can tell you that I know her very much. Whatever mistakes she may have made as a, as a teenager growing up, has no bearing whatsoever with what she has become now as a young woman. We all do make mistakes. She told you? Yes, she told me. That your attitude towards her changed the very moment she told you of the mistakes she made as a teenager. I don't understand. What? Well, wait. I don't know what to do. It's very difficult for me to accept. It's very hard and this is not just about me. It's about my future in Urun Nebo, my land. Chukwudu Nebo, that maiden is weakened. That maiden is almost ruined. And I see her taking her life. And if that happens, I want you to understand that you shall be held responsible. That maiden was on her own when you came to her with promises of love, with how you, you, you wanted to take good care of her. You brought her over and she started to love you. She gave you herself and what did you do? You abandoned her. And I came here this night to tell you something. That if that maiden takes her life on the account of this wickedness of yours, the same God of Uru Nebo that you speak highly of, we never ever forgive you for systematically destroying an innocent maiden. This is why I came here this night to look you into the face and tell you all this. And I want you, I want you to ponder on those words. 
गुड नाइट Understand why you're still carrying this face? Have I not apologized? And have I not accepted the apology? Then brighten up, Amaka. This is not the face I used to know. Hmm? Set. This is a city. If you want to set, you can set. So why are you here? Nay, nee. I came with good news. Chiku Dinigbo had jitted his palm wine cellar of a maiden. What? I mean, how? The last thing I heard was he proposed to her. So what did that happen? That was the news till he discovered something ugly about her. She is after one. After one? What do you mean by that? As a teenager, she became a mother. She has a child in Akimi. Oh, poor Ichizuna. I pity her. But is that why you're happy? Listen, Chikubi, this could happen to anyone. Yes. Mm. At least, I stand a chance of winning him back. <laughs> you stand a chance of winning him back? So you're not tired already? You're not tired? If I were you, my dear, hmm? I will find a way to reconcile with one Madi that loves you so much, I want to even make you his wife. And then, find a chance of winning, of winning him back. I beg, drop that angle. I heard Izuki is coming with his people soon. Yes, so he is. And very soon I'll be his wife. Thank God he's doing well with the money that Chukutinibu settled him with. I'm happy for you, my friend. Thank you. If you like, be there. Please, I can't wait to rest that day. Please welcome. Please you know. What is the problem? Did anyone die? It's about uh, HSN. What about HSN? Uh, oh, you see, I went to supply meat to Obo. But he told me that she ran away. She has returned to Aki. Did he tell you? He doesn't know. Let me see. He seemed to be avoiding her lately. Is everything okay? A man of honor. 
What did you do? You used that information against her by abandoning her. I did not abandon her. I was shattered by the information. I told you about my ambitions and how her status would interfere. Don't, don't, don't tell me that. What are you saying? You made her get to love you. You told her here in your honor. What do you think? That she is everything to you. What did you do? You don't have the decency to tell her to her face that it's not going to work at the deep of you. You don't have the decency to do that. Listen to me. I am telling you to your face that what you did is not what a man of noble quality like you to do. And I am telling you now that I am disappointed in you. Very, very disappointed in you. What nonsense. What have you come here to do again? What? please. I really need your help this time. I now have a better chance of making him mine. You think so? Yes, yes. Then what has changed? The road has been cleared. The maidens are withdrawing one after the other. He has broken his marriage plan with the maiden from Aki. Now what do you want Odogu Nagwago to do for you? As we speak, he is in a vulnerable state. He is shattered by his loss. <clears throat> so I think this is the best time for me to finally capture his heart. Love, they say, is a powerful medicine. When a man truly falls in love, he falls deeply. You can make him fall in love with you naturally. You had a chance of making me fall in love with you and you lost it! Please, I promise you, I will make proper use of it this time. Please just give me one last chance. Please, I won't fail. Go and never return. Odogu na guogu. We have nothing to do with an unserious and careless mind like you. Please. Asipam kam no ro we mo obi mama we ngbi bi alona ndo mo. Akwata ro ya no so e beta ro ya na ko. It is established that all king. The do of Urunebo Kingdom has joined our ancestors. The four of you here, standing before the Edo tree, are all equally qualified to rule over our great kingdom. But, as you all know, only one person must become the king. And that person is the one who can lift the sacred staff of the king. Staff of Idu is your problem. Must they involve the staff of Idu? Are you afraid of the staff? Not exactly. But we had kings that reigned with, without the staff. Pray it happens that way. If they involve the staff of Idu, run for your life. The staff can kill if your hands are not clean. You know why I am here. I need to be guided. You are one step from being a king of your land. The gods hold you. 
but there could be an obstacle. The staff of Idu. It has always been a limiting factor to many that aspire to be kings. Could you please explain that to me? The staff of Idu is a symbol of strength. It is always used to test any spiritual strength of any man who has a spark to be a king of your land. Many are out, but only one survives. You speak plainly because I really would like to reign as a king in Irunebo someday. Only the mighty men have been able to lift it and leave. If definitely you will require to touch the staff of Idu to emerge as a king of your land, then you must examine yourself. Don't touch it if you're not sure of your spiritual purity because it will actually kill you instantly if you toy with it. The staff of Idu is powerful and intimidating. It can kill or honor in your life, even if you are drunk, do not toy with the sacred staff of Idu. I know I'm from the royal lineage of Uru Nebo, and one day I might be required to rule as king, but how can that happen without a sacred staff? You're a young man that take advantage of maidens. Just pray that the sacred staff of Idu is not in the picture. Because if he does, I'm afraid that something disastrous might happen. Not only the brave, but the spiritually pure can do this and leave. So I want you all to search your conscience. Are you prepared for this epoch making history? The process starts now. I withdraw from the race because I cannot continue with this process. I know what the secret staff of Idu represents. I equally withdraw. I didn't know it will result to this test of purity. I will call you with you. You go to the book. You are the only one standing. Are you the one chosen by the gods to lead our great kingdom? I have lived and worked hard all my life for the strong. The opportunity is here and I can't give up out of fear. You go to the book. Prove to all that you are the chosen one. Lift this secret staff of office. And once it's proven that you are the chosen one, we shall proceed to the next phase. Go on, lift it!
a bon mad dreaded woman. The only woman who communes with our ancestors through the streets. You are the only one who could try this and get away with it. Why did you stop the process? I am here with a message from our ancestors. Which is? Chukudinibu, who only lifts the sacred staff after he must have gone to Ire to pick Odudueze from the chosen of the gods. Kings emerge in Orinebu after picking Odudueze from Ire kingdom. That is the message from the gods and they expect it follow to the later. Abomma the dreaded woman. She wouldn't come here to give God message if she were not sent by the gods. Before I hurt her, go and get the desert. Once you have it in your hands, then we shall proceed to the next phase. But what are you insinuating? Nothing. Nothing. I'm just wondering why the chief priest did not know about it before Abomma came. Did he tell you that he didn't know anything about it? No, no he did not. But if he did, he would have said something. I mean, I was just about to raise the staff before she interfered. Abomma is like the mouthpiece of our ancestor. I know her very well to say she's a very nice woman. Approach her. Ask for more assistance. She might even decide to accompany you to Ibe. You really think she would do that for me? Brother, do not keep looking down on yourself. You are easy Idu in making. Go to her. Solicit for assistance. You never can tell what will happen next. You have a point. Let me give it a try. Ever since you came back from Osi and established yourself here in our land, you've refused to look at the maidens of this land that I keep presenting for your consideration. Ukukweka, my sister. Let me understand you. Let me understand what you're trying to say. Now that our land is in a very crucial state, that I'm supposed to be planning on how to collect the Ududweze and become king, you want us to stand here and discuss maidens? Really? My brother, now that it is certain that you emerge as the next king, you need a wife. I am sure that is what the chief priest had in mind when he mentioned the next phase. Forget about the maiden of Aki we lost in Uzi and settle for a maiden here in our land. <laughs> Must be mine to sit on that throne. My darling sister, if you do not bother about my affairs, who will? Huh? Who will? I understand. Thank you for everything. But we have to take it one step at a time. One thing after the other. Thank you. The are you sure? Must think about it. You are one, sir. The chosen one. You have no idea what we have gone through to come before you today. Why are you making us doubt the whole process? I have been expecting this visit, but the gods have already told me about the brave and powerful man that will arise to rule over Nebo. If you must succeed, then you must not doubt someone like me. We have come a long way. I naturally wouldn't have been part of this mission, but I elected to come because of the way he pleaded. I want you to tell me everything you know about the process. I must admit before you that I do not know everything. Chosen one, is he going to be the next king? There are powers I need to consult. They must approve 
before I speak. All I know is that a great man will rule Urun Nebo soon. As you said already, he's brave and powerful. And he has all the qualities of a good king. We are here because he must pick Ududuese from here to lift the staff of the king. I shall call you to join me. not even from Ire. Are you serious? Where is he from? Come forth. Good in the world. Kudinibo is truly that great king that Urun Nebo has been waiting for. Oh, may the gods be blessed. I have gotten all the confirmation that I need. And there is nothing that will stop me from giving him the good blessing now. That was the thunder of extended truth. What do you mean by that? The gods have a message for me. like that look. What message have you brought from the gods? Look up. We must lower the dresser. Dangerous rainbow in the sky. Really? That is the decree of the gods. The dress must not be lowered for a possible handover when there is still rainbow in the sky. So what shall we do? We must wait till the rainbow disappears. Even if it takes the whole day? Even if it takes the whole year, we must wait. Getting late already, yet the rainbow is still in the sky. You have the chosen one. You must remain here till the Ududuese is given to you. And you? Are you going to stay with me for that long? My job here is finished. I have the works of my ancestors to attend to. When you are given the Ududuese, return with the good news. 
So you plan to leave me here all by myself? Is the next king of Urunebu afraid? Even the enemies know that I fear no one. Then you must remain here. The gods are with you. I must leave now. I will inform the chosen one that I'm leaving. You can leave first thing tomorrow. When you leave, it's not the most important thing. What matters is that you have the pleasure in your position. I am very glad. Once again, I congratulate you. Thank you, chosen one. Dinner will soon arrive. <laughs> I can see the chosen one is happy today. I told you food will soon Is this really you? You know each other? What are you doing here? I thought, I thought you were supposed to be at that TV. Do not do it. I am the chosen one of the gods. You know it's dangerous to leave my presence when I did not dismiss you. I need to know what's going on here. I am glad my son is the one helping you achieve your goals. Your son? Who is your son? The chosen one. He is that child I had when I was a teenager. He's the one the gods have chosen to work for them. What? He's the reason you rejected me. He's stupid in me. Stupid in me, Did you not tell me that you met that particular stupid in at the ceiling? He only lived there. But he's from Urunibu. You mean. I don't want to believe this. Is this not a small world? She's the last person I expected to see her. The gods are wise indeed. The same boy that is the reason why you rejected her cannot be the one that will give you the thing you need to become a king. What an irony. The same reason why I thought that being with her would ruin my chances of being king it turned out to be the anchor that I need. Hey. Uh, and you say she's not married? She said that as soon as she returned to Aki, I learned that her son was the chosen one by the gods of the earth. She vowed never to marry. Rather, she decided to stick by her son and take care of him. Does it mean you don't have any chance of being with her again? From what I saw, I doubt she will ever consider me again. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Well, was at the meeting when he came to invite the men of the city to his coronation. He told me everything. Yes. Yes, I knew it. I could almost feel it. Take away. Are you sure you're it? What are you talking about? You see, I knew there was something special about him. Just that I couldn't lay my hands on it. Now you see, 
He's a king. Chick, don't waste time to make you talk. You amaze me. Yes. But don't tell me you're still crushing me. Forget that, my dear. Who have you chosen to be his wife? I don't know. Nobody knows. Maybe we'll soon find out. We don't know yet. How I wish they will allow him marry from anywhere. It's surely the kind of man I need as my husband. Jacobi, I would so appreciate it if you talk responsibly. Yes, you're now with one, Madi. You shouldn't be dreaming of any other man. Please. Thank you. Please and please and please be careful with your choice of it. Drag me down to your neighbor. Just look around. Is there any maid in here that can beat me to that? You always think you know everything, yet you know nothing. Yes. I take that to be an insult. How could you say a thing like that? Here you are, hoping that the emerging king will pick you today. While it's already known to everybody in the village that he took a wife yesterday. Yes. Meeting with so much passion, isn't it? What for? She sure don't know what she's planning. I'm sure she's here to throw herself at him. I don't know when she will ever give up. Huh? That makes both of you. This place made us for sale. We will not give up on a man that his destiny is so else.
Ebo Kwenu? Yeah. Osili Kwenu? Yeah. Ndiba Yikwezu Wenu? Yeah. Today is a very special day in the lives of our people. A day when the gods have decided to show us that they, in their infinite wisdom, are wiser than us. Their ways are better than our ways. Their vision for us is much bigger than us. By the gods, before my coronation today, I want to present to you all Echezana, my queen. By the gods, we were wedded yesterday. So from today henceforth, she will rule by my side as your queen. By the powers vested on me as a chief priest of Urunebo Kingdom, I, Ogwe Fagubanze, hereby crown you Ezi Anundi Modulo, the Ezi Idu, the 16th of Urunebo Kingdom. May your reign bring peace, joy, and tranquility into our kingdom.
did you just touch me with your cursed hand? What are you doing here? What are you doing here yourself? Listen, Uchechi. Something very deep happened back there. And I need time to reflect on my way forward. Excuse me. Uzoma. Oh. Can you exempt yourself from blame? Can you? Maidens of Osili stayed away from Urunibo because they know I should be the one. But no, you couldn't stay back. You brought your cursed body to this place. You are the one that is cursed over and over again, not me. Hmm. You never see anything good in life. Uzoma, stay away from me. Stay far, far away from me and all that concerns me. If you ever cross my path again, I'll kill you. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> when one door closes, another door will open. Chuko Dinibo is married now, and there's nothing both of us can do about it. I will go back and reconcile with my Okutini. What about you? Do you have anywhere to hide? Do you have any man of your own? You have nothing! So you are cursed and cursed forever. Rubbish. Nonsense. Didn't you see me? What is it? I am on my way to your house. Ah. Well, as you can see, I'm heading to the farm. So why are you here? I, 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 I was coming to your house to say hello, to know how you're doing. Like I earlier said, I have to be at the farm now before the sun comes out. Um, I'm not busy today. Can I come with you no, to the no. farm? Don't come to the farm with me. As a matter of fact, today should be the last time you ever stop back and say hello to me. I have to say hello. Hey, see, Biko, 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 please. Please don't act like this, people. We have come a long way. Of course. Eh? We have come a long way in being strangers. Or ultimately enemies. Come, stay away from me. Oh, good day. You can't run the phone. Thank you for making me a father. I should be the one saying that. Obin, mm -hmm. thank you for making me a wife. And now a proud mother. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow is a sound one ceremony. I have not asked me the name I will call my son. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's your duty to name your son. I wanted to wait till tomorrow so that I will not be naming him. 
You make me happy whenever you say that. You are really a gift from the gods. And I will love you forever. I promise to love you too. So tell me, what name should I expect tomorrow? Chukudinibu. What? That's a surprise I will give to my people tomorrow. I will name him after a great man because I want my son to be great. The baby cries. You come. What a great name. Asa is a sacred tradition practiced by our Osili people. Seven days after a child is born, the people will gather, make merry, and then name the child. This ancient ceremony clears the way for the child and banishes the spirit of death. I am not happy that all your mates are married and being as someone for they are young and you're still here. Why are you telling me all of this? Why? You know I am a wounded woman, right? And I need all the concentration I can get to reinvent myself. But JJ, how can you talk about reinventing yourself when your beauty cannot attract credible suitors to yourself? Please, I need you to get married because it's becoming an insult. Insult? Yes. What insult, mother? Mother, are you trying to frustrate me into marrying just any man simply because you need me to be married? Is that what you're trying to do? Do you have a man to show? Do you? Sensible maidens don't put all their eggs in one basket. Oh, church, that's exactly what you did. I am destined for greatness. And I know that great man will come one day. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Onye, who's that? It's me, Odogun Epempe. Greetings. What do you want? I could feature, feature, or dara now. Now we did a merry. And what do you mean by that? All our men have decided that none will marry Chichi. They say that Chichi started them. And now she must remain unmarried. And what have you come to do? To pass the information? Oh well, I have heard you. I, Odoguna Pemper of Osiri, I have come to bear the cards. Accept to marry me. All your problems will be solved. Dara Mecha. Goma. Oh, Chichi, deal with this. <laughs> You have come to marry me. I came with this drink to announce my intention. I'm the only hope now. I'll be right back. Daramicha. <laughs> 